Media was tagged and will be monitored moving forward. It's so cute. That is cute. And oh. you know, it's sunny skies out there. Well, cold, but sunny. Oh, he's got so, this. <laughs> yeah, he can, he can fly perfectly yes. right now. Oh my goodness. Sometimes don't you wish you could fly? I do. I do I for sure. <laughs> that or be invisible, but Ooh. we'll talk more about that later. <laughs> All right. Well, these temperatures have fallen below average as of yesterday. We had a high of just 46 degrees when we should have been at 50. Nobody hit 50. Fond du Lac, you came pretty close though with a high of 49 degrees yesterday. Now we're waking up to clear skies. It's still dark out there. Sunrise isn't until 7.32 this morning, and we're below freezing. Woohoo! A few degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday morning. Looking at 30 degrees here into Green Bay, 27 into Appleton. The only places above freezing is Sturgeon Bay and Fond du Lac. That's it. Now, of course, those winds are pesky too. They're still breezy out of the west, sustained up to 12 miles per hour, still gusting into the 20s with a 22 mile per hour gust into Sturgeon Bay right now. Very breezy into Door County. And once you factor in those winds, you get your wind chill. And when you head out the door, Appleton, it really feels like 18 degrees outside. That's it. <laughs> grab the gloves, grab that hat, because that's here for us for the next few hours. Now a freeze warning all the way down in to Kentucky, southern Illinois, southern Indiana. That's how cold it is and how far south that air has made it. We're looking at clear skies here right now, but some lake effect snow ongoing on the south side of Lake Superior with the winter weather advisory in effect. They've already gotten two to four inches of snowfall with another one to three expected. Look at this winter wonderland out there into the UP of Michigan. Winter is here, isn't it? Now we are on the cold side of this high pressure system pulling in the air from the north for the next few days, but it's going to control our weather and give us a lot of sunshine. So a mostly sunny day today with a few passing clouds this afternoon. Breezy conditions finally start to wind down by tonight. But tonight, temperatures crashing to a hard freeze once again into those mid 20s. We'll be below freezing here for the next three nights. Now, tomorrow, we're going to wake up to sunny skies, cold temperatures by the afternoon. A few more clouds building in, but we'll clear out once again for a gorgeous day with calmer winds as well. Now, this cold snap is still going to linger here for a majority of this week. But as we head into this weekend and even into next week, we are going to see some warmer temperatures start to head our way. So highs today only into the low 40s some of the coolest temperatures we felt in the past seven months tonight falling into those 20s. Everybody below freezing and then tomorrow a repeat of today back into those low 40s as high temperatures. Now as we continue throughout the week, we are looking at a little bit of a warm up here for us. And in fact, by Saturday night, Sunday morning, we are going to be looking at rolling that clock backwards. That's right. We are gaining an hour of sleep there for us, but that also means the sunset next week or this weekend is going to be in that 430 hour. So get ready for that. Now as we look at the Packers game. We are going to be looking at 60 degrees as our high temperature. Not too bad at all. So if you're going to be doing anything outside or tailgating for that, it's going to be some good conditions there for you. But look at that sunshine. I don't have much to forecast for you. It's just going to be nice and beautiful all week long. We just have to deal with the cold that's arrived up until this weekend. Easy days for Brittany yeah. make it a lot easier for us too. <laughs> and we're all smiling. The sunshine's great. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Brittany, thank you.